Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble UPS Plus to your Raspberry Pi, and how to config and enable some functionality of your UPS Plus. Okay, at the very beginning, I will introduce uh, UPS Plus to you. Uh, one on on the PCB board, there is six pogo pin, which uh, will power your Raspberry Pi via those three pins and will connect communicate with your Raspberry Pi via I2C protocol by using three this those two pins okay and uh, also this US, uh, UPS plus uh, module will offer uh, RTC module here uh, which is DS1307 Okay, it's a uh, uh, no more uh, RTC, the real time clock, uh, real time clock chip here, and there are two INA two one nine chip to mirror both on Pogo pins voltage and current, and also batteries voltage and current, and <coughs> this. LED means power on, uh, power status LEDs. Uh, this four LEDs, uh, which is support by uh, the PMIC chip, uh, which called IP five three two eight. Okay, this this area is a PMIC uh, function area, and. Here is the main chip. I mean, uh, there there is MCU. Uh, will communicate with all of this stuff and uh, gather the information and uh, uh, communicate with uh, your Raspberry Pi via these two pins. So uh, it will. Uh, uh, detect the battery status, Pogo pin status, and uh, charging port status, and uh, uh, feedback to your Raspberry Pi. And your Raspberry Pi can read all of this stuff from uh, uh, from this US, UPS uh, Plus board via those two I square C. Pogo pin, okay. And here is a push button. This push button will uh, turn on or turn off your UPS Plus. And <clears throat> at the back back of this PCB board, there are two UPS board, standard UPS, a USB board, a port to your um, device, okay. It can. Uh, outputs of power and there is a, a type C uh, between these two U USB port uh, you can connect to your your phone or something else okay and here are two slots for your uh, 18650 batteries and I got a 2000 million uh, Leon batteries for Raspberry Pi, and uh, th this two uh, stack function pin uh, will help you to connect more batteries to your UPS board, and uh, also uh, we have developing these two. Uh, to pins uh, extension board okay and how to assemble uh, this one to your Raspberry Pi I have already uh, fixed the four copper stick to my Raspberry Pi and <clears throat> make sure your Pogo pin is aligned to GPIO pin here and make sure it is 
direct against to your your pin, and then fix fix it with copper pillar. This long copper pillar will in package, so don't worry about that. Okay. Because I have already uh, configured my uh, configuration on my Raspberry Pi OS, so uh, once I put my battery into the uh, battery slot, it will turn on uh, Raspberry Pi automatically. So don't worry about that. All you need concern is the polarity of your uh, batteries. You, you will see that plus here plus means positive here and the two batteries it in the same direction okay and put this in and put this one in you will see that the raspberry pi has been turned on because i have already enabled back to ac function on my raspberry pi and you will see that there is only one light is blinking although I have already uh, fully charged my battery but still only one LED in the blinking you don't have to worry about that because at the very beginning our MCU will sampling okay it's after sampling it will uh, show you the uh, the right status of your battery okay and if you see that you can uh, just hook up your micro usb port to power on to charge your battery and finally you will see that the last one led is blinking all the time and also you don't worry about that is it because it uh, when when you uh, power on your Raspberry Pi the batteries uh, will uh, consume some power so the the, the power will still uh, uh, in charging okay and you can also use a, a QC power supply uh, via USB-C port to charge your battery and uh, your if you're you have a, a high quality uh, batteries you will uh, uh, the, the Raspberry Pi will stand up stand up for long for a long time okay and and turn on why is that because my uh, MCU has been um, sampling the battery status all the time and uh, it find that my battery is fully charged okay and you don't worry about that it will not damage your uh, TF car it it will only appear one time and my I will put my charging port here and next step is to uh, log into Raspberry Pi and um, you can upgrade your uh, firmware via uh, internet and also let's check the uh, output voltage and current and uh, which port is connected to your uh, connected to your UPS plus okay let's do it okay right now I have already opened a mobile extern terminal software to uh, connect to my Raspberry Pi which connect uh, with UPS plus and then um, after 
login you need to make sure you have already turned on the SPI uh, iPhone I square C function in Raspberry Pi and you will see that my operating system description is Raspbian uh, GNU Linux 10 and the code name is Buster and the the kernel version is uh, 5.10 and 17 okay and then uh, make sure you can connect to connect it to the uh, internet okay uh, next step we uh, recommend you to follow the instruction on wiki 52pi.com follow the UPS plus instruction to set up uh, step by step okay uh, as a general settings you need to uh, uh, download the latest uh, Raspbian OS image from official website unzip it and uh, flash it to micro SD card that's both of uh, these uh, steps are finished before uh, this video and uh, I however uh, I have already followed the instruction assemble the Raspberry Pi and uh, UPS plus and also I have already checked my latest uh, uh, version and uh, uh, kernel version okay and I uh, make sure my Raspberry Pi can access internet okay uh, next step is to enable i square c function by using respi config tool uh, this this tool is uh, is raspberry pi official uh, config tools and you can uh, use this tool to navigate the selection to uh, interface interface options and uh, uh, choose select the i square c and enable it uh, please uh, note that this i square c function is very important on uh, the whole setting up because the raspberry pi uh, need to uh, detect or control the ups plus by using i square c pro protocol okay so let's check it out first uh, i need to input sudo raspberry pi config on my terminal okay that's clear sudo raspi uh, dash config and uh, navigate to interface options by using up and down on your keyboard okay and select uh, i square c which is p5 and uh, select yes to enable this uh, interface okay uh, all right after that you need to uh, install ICM bus 2 library due, uh, due to we need to use uh, Python scripts to read the voltage and current from your UPS plus so I need you to uh, make sure you have already installed the SM, uh, B bus, SM bus 2 okay you can pipe install SM bus 2 And pay attention to the feedback on your screen. Okay, 
you will see that I because I have already installed this uh, module on my Raspberry Pi so uh, I will see that requirement already satisfied uh, SMB bus in this location okay and uh, it's a warning so I can update my pipe tools as well okay okay finished and the next step is to uh, download the github uh, repository from internet so first uh, change director directory to your home folder and use this command git clone and this URL from github uh, download the repository from github and uh, this step I ha has already downloaded before so CD or CD Mm, wave line and git clone I will copy paste so that it will not make a mistake okay okay if you see that the file of destination pass UPS plus already exists and is not an empty directory means you have already downloaded the repository folder so you need to enter into this folder and git pull to uh, make sure all of the uh, scripts are uh, up to up to date okay all right you will see that ups plus has been modified something or so and you will see that there is a, a shell script here and here install the sh means you can uh, use this shell to install those uh, functionality to your Raspberry Pi and just sudo or install sh And it will install the uh, library and uh, mm, setting up uh, all of the things automatically. Okay. All right. If successful, you will see that. Uh, the cron table has been created and SMB bus installation successful and you can see uh, general information of your uh, Raspberry Pi and the battery information and also you can uh, see that current charging via micro USB port okay uh, all right this uh, script will create a folder here in your home folder and the bin folder there is three scripts okay and the UPS plus uh, underscore IOT dot PY means uh, it will update your um, battery status or UPS status to our uh, platform so that uh, <coughs> if there is a new uh, firmware we need to update we will send some uh, information to uh, to you okay and also we can um, uh, help us to diagnostic 
your uh, UPS problem. Okay, and you can use this command to execute this uh, for the, uh, this scripts. Uh, it will uh, upload those things. Okay, for example, uh, battery full full voltage and battery empty voltage and also some uh, simple time auto power on status and uh, online uh, online times extra okay and uh, there are uh, very important things we we need to know the version of your uh, UPS uh, plus and uh, the UID number. This UID number, uh, we can use this U UID number to self-diagnostic uh, in our website. Okay, you can see that um, under the under here, how to self. Uh, diagnose your UPS plus here is a, a URL and you can uh, open this URL and put your UID 0 UID 1 UID 2 and uh, uh, it will show you uh, what's what's going on or what's problem with your UPS okay and also um we can uh automatically shut down protection enable uh enable automatically shut down protection uh just by uh using our scripts okay install dot sh uh it's a same same way to uh install our um scripts because the script is a uh, default uh, enable automatically shutdown protection okay and uh, <coughs> here I want to uh, tell you how to update uh, UPS firmware via OTA means uh, uh, you can update your uh, firmware of your UPS plus by using uh, internet okay there are two methods and uh, uh, you can use the uh, easy way just uh, power off all of the uh, device and remove the batteries okay and uh, you need to know that do not power off or disconnect the network during the upgrade process. If the up upgrade fails, the UPS Pro will not work normally, and it will not uh, um, turn on if you, you interrupt the upgrade process. Okay, so once the upgrading process is uh, proceeding. Do not turn off the uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, if you want to update firmware, you need to first power off your Raspberry Pi and cut off the external uh, charging power. Uh, include a, a micro USB and the USB C cable. Okay, and take out all of all the batteries. The key uh, step is here. Press and hold the UPS switch, switch key. It's a button, okay? Hold the button, do not re release, and then insert the battery into the uh, uh, battery slot and uh, uh, release the button. At this time, the, the device will be uh, forced 
into uh, OTA mode. Okay, so the function of switch button will no longer uh, be available at this time. If you are in OTA mode, you cannot uh, use any function of of your uh, UPS Plus, and then um, the Raspberry Pi will be running when you insert the uh, batteries and please hook up the UPS uh, a micro USB charger to make sure your uh, UPS will not um, shutting down by uh, due to lack of power okay and then you can uh, entry to the UPS plus folder and uh, execute uh, Python 3 OT, OTA firmware upgrade.py use this uh, function all right and let's show you okay let's enter it to the folder repository folder and you will see that this this file OTA firmware upgrade.py and you can execute this okay but if you uh, your UPS plus is not in OTA mode you cannot you uh, execute this command because it will uh, encounter error okay so this uh, first way to uh, to upgrade your uh, UPS firmware via OTA mode <coughs> and the second way is to open the terminal and type in this command this command means to uh, told your UPS plus uh, to entering OTA mode and uh, it will enable when you reboot it again okay so if you use this command you need to shut down your Raspberry Pi and remove all the batteries and power supply and finally insert battery back to the uh, battery slot but you don't need to pre hold the uh, pre uh, hold the button or hold the switch or anything else just put your battery back to your uh, battery slot and uh, log in to your Raspberry Pi and execute OTA uh, upgrade script okay this command it will update your uh, firmware and you uh, at the same time you you need to uh, insert the power charging power cable <coughs> okay uh, and there is a phenomenon uh, you will see the UPS will turn off after upgrading and please unplug the power supply remove the battery from UPS Pro and then insert the battery back to UPS Pro so that uh, your uh, UPS has fully uh, completely uh, update finished okay and then you can press the power switch to turn on the UPS and you you can use it okay all right <coughs> uh, I will show you how to finish that okay 
when you uh, shutting down your Raspberry Pi by command, and also you set the OTA mode, uh, your press button will no longer work. Okay, you can see that when you press a button, it will no uh, response. So you all you need to do just to remove the batteries from the slot. Okay. And then put your battery back to your Raspberry Pi. Because I have already uh, enabled back to AC function, so my Raspberry Pi will turn on immediately once I put my Raspberry uh, put my battery back to in slot. Okay. I will take charge. Okay, back to the terminal. Login with my Pi user. And then CD to UPS plus folder. I will execute this. Uh, command and before that I will show you you can check if you are in OTA mode if your address number is changed to 18 okay means you are in OTA mode all right and then execute this uh, Python script and during this updating, please keep the power on. Interruption in the middle will cause unrecoverable failure of the UPS. And once the updating complete, your Raspberry Pi will shut in uh, will shut down automatically okay and the uh, next step is to disconnect all power and uh, remove batteries from slot and put it back again okay after updating the firmware uh, via OTA mode your Raspberry Pi has been turned off and right now let's remove the battery okay and reinsert the battery to battery slot okay until now uh, the firmware updating is complete and the next step you can uh, Adjust the simple, simply period by using uh, this code. Okay. You all you need to modify is a simple, uh, simple times number. Uh, the range of simple time will be from two uh, to sixteen. Okay. And uh, uh, we recommended you to change to uh, eighty two. I copy this command and uh, uh, write down here. You can just uh, create uh, a file. Simply time and paste it here and then press Control X save that okay you see that all of this will save here and use Python 3 okay 
Simple tense has been changed. All right. And also you can uh, detect if the battery is dead just using the uh, UPS Plus. This is scripts to solve this problem. Use Python 3 UPS Plus dot py. And it will check the uh, battery status and uh, and uh, find find the uh, protection voltage here, and you can modify these scripts in this section. You can put the uh, um, threshold of your UPS automatically power off to prevent the damage caused by battery over discharge. Uh, the unit is um, millivolt. So once your battery is uh, reached to 63,700 uh, millivolts, it will uh, enable uh, power off. Okay? So you can change the this if your battery can uh, protect more uh, power you can just uh, change it save the scripts and then run the scripts okay and it will setting up your uh, protection voltage okay And also, you you can enable back to AC function manually by use this command. Okay, let's do it. And once you set it up, you can use this command to check. If uh, the value is zero. Uh, plus zero one means has been enabled. At the, this time, you can just uh, shutting down your Raspberry Pi and plug the U, uh, micro USB cable to your UPS, and then your Raspberry Pi will uh, booting up, will boot up uh, automatically. All right, and how to set up? Uh, shutting down countdown function manually you can use this uh, command to uh, set the uh, shutting down countdown function uh, this is a register number and th this is a countdown time period and uh, uh, default is 240 40 214 okay and you can change it, uh, this number as you will okay all right for example I will set uh, 10 seconds to come down when I shut down my Raspberry Pi, it will cut off the power uh, after 10 seconds, okay? And once you uh, plug the U USB charger to the micro USB port, it will automatically uh, power on because uh, I have already set the back to AC function, okay? All right. I have already setting up this, okay. And also you can do some self 
diagnose UPS plus via this uh, link, okay? Let's open new folder. And it requires your um, device serial number. For example, UID 0, UID 1, UID 2. How can I get the UID information from uh, UPS? Just uh, run full featured diamond code here, and you will get this number here. And also, you can use uh, IoT UPS IoT scripts. Also, you can get the number, okay? the feedback you will see that this is my UID and I copy paste here and another one copy paste here and the final one copy paste here and press diagnosis It will give, give you, if there is something wrong with your UPS, it will give you uh, some advice, okay? And um, my UPS is fine, so there is nothing. All right. Okay, that's all. If you want to use battery logger, please uh, check GitHub uh, repository here. And thanks for uh, not Aeon's help, okay? He wrote this, uh, uh, dosage logger software and put here. Okay, uh, that's all. The next video I will introduce how to enable um, RTC mode on UPS Plus, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.